Jack Taylor. Good afternoon. Howdy, Ranger. Hello, Ranger. It looks like it. Is that Silver? That's Dusty. He's my client, Sir Jones, Mr. Fraser. How do you do? Glad to know you. How do you do? Can I be of any service? No, thanks, partner. I'm just guiding the folks up to Ezra's mine. You never get there that way. There's the trail. Thank you very much, Mr. Fraser. It was nothing, Miss Jones. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye, Mr. Fraser. Come on. Get in. Mounted posse, the cell man. Jack, light the light. Get in there. Get your arm. Get your help me. Get your arm. Open the door, Dad. <laughs> An Indian pulled a gun on Beaver. It was a tomahawk. Tommy Rock. I guess Beaver's been telling you some of his stories. But there were rappings and weird sounds. And where'd these sounds come from? Oh, over there. Down on the here. No, down here. Maybe we'll have to look around. That's what I say. Mr. Frazier, with you here, I feel so safe. We'll find out soon enough. I'm positive those sounds came from underneath there, Mr. Frazier. Well, let's take a look. All right.
300 with him. He bought gas with a compressor at my station and paid for it with that money. And bought a big bill of goods for me. Certainly he was in a hurry, too. Bought some toothpaste and paid me with his $20 bill. No wonder he said he wouldn't be back for a long time. Oh, well, there's no doubt about it. He's one of the Douglas gang. That's ridiculous, Sheriff. I know the man. He's here with his family. Probably just a front. These crooks are mighty slick nowadays. But why don't you wait to get the professor's fingerprints? You wait for the fingerprints. That professor looks like a gentleman to me. Come on, Lamb. We're going to bring in Mr. Jones. Don't forget it. I get you off. Come on, Lamb. Boys, stay here. Mr. Frazier, they're in there. Here, Oh, <laughs> 